Being a big-time actor sometimes means butting heads with other, perhaps better connected actors who may use their clout to determine a co-star status on an ongoing project. Here are a few Hollywood hotshots who allegedly had their castmates axed over irreconcilable differences. John Stamos Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen would eventually jettison their small-screen star power into a full-on Olsen Twins franchise after becoming the breakout stars of Full House. But when the show first started, the then-toddler's tenure on the series almost ended before it began. John Stamos unceremoniously had them fired during the first season because he felt they were too whiny to work with. As Stephanie might say, How rude! <laughs> Stamos, who played Uncle Jesse, admitted as much in 2015 when he told a Television Critics Association audience it's 100% accurate he wanted them out. <laughs> but their replacements, a pair of, in Stamos's words, unattractive red-headed kids, didn't work, so the producers ultimately brought the Olsons back. You got it, dude! <laughs> Lisa Ray McCoy Although Stacey Dash may be forever known as the sweet and stylish Dion in Clueless, she's since made a few enemies in showbiz. Dash's alleged aggression on set apparently rubbed her single ladies co-star Lisa Ray McCoy the wrong way, leading to Dash getting axed, as McCoy recounts in this promo for her reality show being Lisa Ray. I had to say to Stacey Dash, if you don't get your motherfucking finger out my face. So for our second season of Single Ladies, there was a replacement for Stacey Dash. McCoy claimed the final straw occurred when Dash complained about a line in a script. Dash, however, says shooting the show in Atlanta kept her from her kids. Okay. Lucy Liu If the Bosley casting switcheroo between Charlie's Angels and its sequel seemed a bit out of left field, that's because it was largely unplanned. Bill Murray plays John Bosley in the first film, but he was not asked to return for its follow-up and was replaced by Bernie Mac, who was dubbed Jimmy Bosley, John's brother. I've really enjoyed working on this assignment, <laughs> and I eagerly anticipate returning to work. <laughs> Bosley's had one too many Buddhas! Murray's departure was linked to some behind-the-scenes drama with actress Lucy Liu, who played Alex Munday in both installments. The two reportedly did not get along during production. Murray even told Lou she, quote, can't act. The tension escalated into near violence when Lou allegedly took some swings at Murray before the two were separated. America Ferrera Lindsay Lohan's bad behavior on Hollywood sets has been amply documented over the years, and while many productions have accommodated her antics, at least one co-star wasn't having it. While starring on ABC's Ugly Betty, leading lady America Ferreira reportedly had the plug prematurely pulled on Lohan's recurring role. Sources close to Lohan said Ferreira was mean to Lohan and had producers kick her off. Ferreira's ire allegedly stemmed from something that happened during a shoot. Ferreira's character was supposed to pull down Lohan's character's pants to exact revenge for some childhood bullying. But rumor has it Lohan wasn't wearing any underwear, which reportedly offended her co-star. Lohan's camp denied that version of events. Warren Beatty Although actress Sean Young had a moment of ubiquity in the late 80s, her star status might have risen a lot higher if she'd have kept her role as Tess Trueheart in 1990's Dick Tracy. However, according to Young, she was fired after a few days of shooting for allegedly declining co-star Warren Beatty's sexual advances on set. Young told the Chicago Tribune, "...basically, he sacked me because I did not want to go to bed with him. In the seven days we worked together, he just made sexual advances. One time, I had to say, stop it. I had to push him away." For his part, Beatty has always insisted it was a purely creative decision and that Young just wasn't maternal enough for the role, which ultimately went to the late Glenn Headley. Bill Cosby Nowadays, Bill Cosby's reputation has been totally tarnished, following a bevy of sexual assault allegations levied against him by multiple women. But in the 80s and 90s, he was virtually untouchable, thanks to the popularity of his family-friendly stand-up routines and his smash hit sitcom The Cosby Show. Lisa Bonet was given her own spin-off series called A Different World, but when her personal life changed, Cosby had her fired. According to A Different World director Debbie Allen, shortly after Bonet married musician Lenny Kravitz in 1987 and revealed she was expecting a baby, Cosby nixed her role on the show after just one season. I, I explained to him how I wanted to use it on the show, because that would be a great 
thing. But Cosby strongly disagreed. Allen says that a few weeks after their conversation, he told her Bonet had to go. Denise Huxtable is not pregnant. Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. So no, no, you can't have it. No, we're not going to do it. No. Bonet was later brought back to The Cosby Show for a brief time, but she was ultimately let go from that series as well for creative differences. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.